Hi folks, this is a video log on May the 30th. Actually, um, I suppose we do my archaeology logs, to be honest with you. But I, I, I thought really that um, leading on from my video log yesterday uh, about this, this European vote. Well, I went to Cardiff today um, shopping with my, my daughter. And uh, I actually thought that I, I would see um, the vote yes and the vote uh, to leave campaigns. Um, the vote yes? No, the vote to stay. Um, and the vote to leave Europe campaigns, you know, on the streets, balloons, you know, stalls everywhere and whatever. But all I saw was two stalls. Vote to leave, vote to stay. Um, and, and I'm just a bit confused about this. If, if people are so into Europe or if people are so out of Europe, they, they would be um, so much into it as, as we see the um, Scottish independence referendum. Um, and, and to be honest with you, I, I feel that um, this, this European vote will probably be... 50% uh, of people will probably vote in it, you know, probably less. Um, because, to be honest with you, um, personally, I, I think Europe's irrelevant. And um, with Europe being irrelevant to me and many people um, in Britain, uh, they probably won't turn out to vote to leave. Um, so I, I think, it, we, you know, the, the vote has to appeal to them, those people. But not to be not to be politically minded in this, I, I would say that the... Um, the, the two campaigns vote to stay and vote to leave um, from what I saw in two parts of Queen Street in Cardiff today. Um, the vote to vote to stay, they, they, um, they were, I think, about five people and a, and a, and a, and a table. Um, not much at all. Um, and vote to leave. They were a lot more organised, a um, lot more individuals, a lot more, lot more tops on and stuff, free badges um, and a free Union Jack thing to stick outside the house, which is already flying. Um, I, I, I managed to pick up this, uh, which is actually going to be displayed as well, um, and loads of leaflets. And, um, you know, I, I'm trying to keep out of politics at this minute, but I, I think personally this, this, is, um, th th this is something that, that I'm getting, getting involved in um, you know, on a minor level. I'll probably do this video log and, and another one about this campaign, and that's it. But I'll, I'll wear this badge. A vote to leave but to be honest with you it's a bit of a stale campaign what you know it's just a box a red box and that's it it's hardly it's hardly scottish independence sort of uh, campaign material and the leaflets reason why i haven't gone anywhere near these leaflets right they look like they're labor leaflets that looks to labor like me right and it's weirdly enough this campaign is a campaign by two sides of the conservative party so i get i'm getting a bit confused with this um, I know the Liberal Party that um, I used to be a representative um, on their um, uh, executive committee. Um, I know that we, we back then were, were very much anti-Europe and wishing to see a free common market, as, as Cobden would have uh, purported in the the 1830s. But um, but let's let's just do this. Um, th there's this leaflet here, and I just want to sort of this is a this is a leaflet that they were handing out today. Um, and it's um, five positive reasons to vote leave and take back control. So let's discuss these. Um, our money priorities. Uh, we send over £350 million to the EU every week, enough to build a modern hospital every week of the year. Um, anyway, I won't read any more of this, but I'll, I'll just say on that first point, okay, as I've already answered in the next one, that £350 million won't go back into the economy if we leave Europe, it can go on to servicing our debt, which will mean then eventually we'll have a country that can hold its own. But that money itself won't see itself trickling back into the economy for some time. We've got to pay off that debt. You know, that, that the, the billions of pounds worth of debt this country owes. There you go. Two, take back control over our laws. Now, now this is something that, that is very key to this. OK. EU, uh, it goes on to say, if we vote to remain, EU laws will overrule UK laws and the re European courts will be in control of our trade, our borders and big decisions like whether prisoners are allowed to vote. OK, that's yes, if we remain. So if we leave, UK laws will have ultimate authority and will take back control. Um, we should be able to vote out the people who make our laws. Well, um, yeah, I agree with that, but... The fact of the matter is, you know, um, it's obvious, isn't it? We we, we vote to um, leave Europe. Um, no, we're not actually voting to leave Europe. We're actually voting to leave um, the EU system, uh, which is very corrupt. 
Um, and when we look at that, we'll obviously be able to keep, take control over our courts, which is very important, and obviously our own laws, our borders, and trade. Um, three, uh, build a fairer, safer immigration system. If we vote to remain in the EU, we'll be stuck with an out of control immigration system, which is bad for our security. Uh, the European Court will be in charge of who will who who we let in and who we can remove. Imagine if Turkey joined this broken system with all those people coming over the borders from war torn areas like Syria and Iraq, uh, as far away as Afghanistan, going all the way over to Turkey. Uh, those people will just go into Europe and will, they will have a a, a right to use our services in this country and they haven't paid in this isn't about color um, this isn't racism it's about the fact that you know um go on to this one if we vote leave yeah we will be able to have a fairer more humane system based on the skills we need uh, we'll be able to control numbers without having to turn away talented people from outside the eu who want to contribute so let, let's look at this this one right at this present moment we've got to take a quota um, from the European community is, is free trade and come and go right that's the, that's the quota right we can allow them to come over whatever free right but we are stopped really from allowing people from Australia um, who, who have got skills that we require or people from America okay is stopping them coming over people from Brazil who, who might have skills in various areas uh, skilled people from China, for example, let's let's have some really good Chinese doctors over here. You know, um, this is not about racism now. Um, you, you've got you've got a really talented um, African doctor um, who's unable to come over here because we've got to allow somebody um, who's got no talent to come over from um, Ukraine, for example. Okay, or a murderer from the Ukraine, as opposed to having a um, somebody who's a trained scientist. Um, say from Mexico all right so there you go number four um, free trade with the whole world this well uh, this is what the whole thing about free trade is okay at the moment the UK has no trade deals with important countries like China India and Australia hang on isn't India and Australia still in our Commonwealth and we've got to reject those people that were part of our that are still part of our Commonwealth in favor of countries that produce very little like um countries that they want to allow in like macedonia and serbia you know india australia china and there's a lot to contribute in the way of trade to this country okay if we vote to remain in the eu we won't be able to make our own deals with countries that that can provide us with 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 good skill with with good skills with good trade uh, with good links brazil for example um, let's try and trade more with Brazil. Let's try and trade more with Argentina. Okay, we're not able to do that because we've got to we're going to remain in this sort of trade union with Europe. All right. So if we vote leave, we can have a friendlier relationship with the EU based on trade. Um, we can trade with the EU, but we can trade with everybody else. We can be we can be the heart of trade within the world. That's what we want. Um, Donald Trump. Yeah, I agree with him. Let, let's let's leave Europe and let's trade more with the states. Brilliant. Okay. And this isn't about racism. This isn't about like the United States, right? There's there's Afro Caribbean, right? There's there's Mexicans. There's white. There's um, Native Americans. There's all. It's not about that. Big cough. <coughs> <coughs> I didn't edit that out, did I? But never mind. It makes it all real, doesn't it? Anyway, but um, five. Vote leave is the safer choice. If we vote to remain in the EU, we'll be locked in the back of the car going somewhere we don't want to go. Or as our conservative politicians want us to continue within Europe, um, because we've obviously been lied to by an out of control Prime Minister David Cameron, um, who has sold this country out, just as Tony Blair has sold the country out. And only th just over 30 percent of the people who voted voted for David Cameron. OK, and he's the most lying piece of snake on this planet. Um, and he's he's driving this pro campaign, which is absolutely disgusting. The prime minister should not be allowed to run this campaign. OK, using taxpayers money, using his influence to keep us in Europe. And that's wrong. It's supposed to be a free vote. OK, um, so. 
we'll keep subsidising other EU countries and losing more control every year because we'll be outvoted. That's it, you know. If we vote leave, UK laws will have ultimate authority and we will take back control. We'll be free to spend our money on our priorities, which now, which do you think is safer for you and your family? Staying in Europe or going out of Europe? And I'll say that there's another leaflet here, okay? Farmers will be better off um, if we vote to leave the EU, okay? It's a good one. I like this one. Anyway, Owen Patterson, who's mentioned on this leaflet, who used to be DEFRA secretary, the Farming um, Authority secretary in 2012 to 2014, I believe the UK has a great future beyond the EU under a UK rural policy run by our, run by, um, our politicians, um, the civil servants. We could pay more than the CAP, uh, which basically um, assists farmers at this minute. Let's, let's get farmers out there with more funding, okay? Regulation could be massively simplified and subsidies could be more specifically tailored to the UK's industry, geography and Climate, other than being told by Europe what we should grow and what we can't grow, okay? Um, protect farmer subsidies, reduce regulation, target our money, decide our own rural policy on what countryside we keep and what countryside we get rid of. You shouldn't get rid of any countryside anyway, that's not, not it, is it? Um, and finally, this thing about the NHS. Well, actually, on this, I think the NHS is a bit of a red herring, to be honest with you. Um... If we vote to leave, we can use £350 million per week on building new hospitals in this country. Well, that that's gonna that £350 million per week has to be used to supplement the national debt first. That's very important. Let's get rid of this national debt. Scotty, completely agree with you on that. EU immigration puts pressure on the NHS. Well, actually, that's more practical, okay? If we don't put any more into hospitals if we leave, okay... It means that we we can, OK, focus on those people actually using our resources and not new people using those resources. Because that's what's going to happen if we leave. We can focus on everybody in our country, um, whether they're black, blue, green or whatever, Welsh, Indian, whatever nationality. Um, anyway, the EU wants to take control of the NHS. They probably do. Um, and EU regulations... Like the clinical trials directors are making it harder to introduce new life-saving drugs. People are dying because of the European community. So there you go. Um, I, I think that's it really. So it's so my video log. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And let's have some comments. I, I, yeah, slag me off or whatever. You do whatever you like. Um, but it's, it's about debate. Okay, it's democracy. I'm still in the democracy. I can say these things. Thank you very much.